Hi, everyone. This is uh, Alan Rosinski of uh, Metro Manhattan uh, Office Space. I'd like to discuss security with you, physical security in commercial real estate, in leased office space, in any leased workspace. Uh, this topic is um, underrated. When I receive inquiries from potential tenants, they'll ask me about pricing, amenities, layout, build out, security deposit, escalations, but um, they very often don't think through, don't really consider um, the security of uh, personnel and also the security of um, equipment and belongings uh, in a uh, workspace. Now, to some extent, I think this is due to the fact that New York City has become much safer in the last 20 years, really since the time of uh, Mayor uh, Rudy uh, Giuliani. It's, uh, I think, one of the safest cities in uh, the United State, States. But despite that, this is really an important topic because in this day and age, people work late. They don't work nine to five. They can stay till 10 or 11. They can come in on the weekends. Um, also, what's changed over the years is there's more cell phones computers, all sorts of computer hardware, particularly for um, technology uh, businesses. I mean, think how awful it would be for a tech company to have equipment removed. Though I would say in this day and age, more basic information is stored in the cloud than on paper the way it was many, many years ago. So being that this uh, uh, topic is sometimes overlooked, I want to give you an overview of what your options are in terms of uh, different um, security arrangements in New York City. And I'm going to start off with Class C buildings, and I'll end, I'll end with Class A buildings, which have the ultimate in um, security. So um, let's look at budget Class C buildings on side streets. Um, very frequently, the smaller buildings um, don't have a super on premises. They may have a super visiting the space. The lobby's locked. Tenants um, will be given um, a key or, you know, accesses by a key card system and uh, code. So, I mean, it's really uh, pretty basic. Um, the next level up, or the somewhat, uh, was somewhat up, are the larger Class C buildings. Some of the larger Class C, C buildings, the um, lobby is going to be open during the day. But there'll be an attendant there. And there's even some Class C buildings where there's sign-in security. It's not habitual, but there's a few I know of in New York City if this is uh, an um, important um, consideration. Now, uh, the next step up in building security are um, Class B buildings. Now, most Class B buildings in Manhattan will have a, a security station and a lobby attendant. And any time a visitor arrives in uh, the, uh, the space visiting a, a, a tenant, they have to sign in. So this is a better level of security. Uh, very frequently in Class B buildings, there'll be an attendant there during business hours, even on Saturdays, occasionally on Sundays. And what will happen, once the attendant goes home, there can be a starter who remains in the building, some form of security personnel, and there's a buzzer. So when you buzz, there's not a formal attendant, but somebody will come down and they'll let you in. So already this is um, a better level of, uh, of security. Now, um, if this is really important to you, Class A buildings are, again, a step above. What's going to happen in a Class A building is you're going to have a lobby attendant and security sign-in 24-7, seven days a week. You're going to have security turnstiles uh, where you'll be given a card by the front uh, by the, the attendant in the front desk and you'll use that card uh, to uh, activate the turnstile and what you'll even have in a class a building is you're going to have video cameras in the lobby in the elevators and the the uh, common quarters so let's say you have a lot of valuables in your space your um, Staff works really late at, at night, and this is something you really don't want to uh, think about. This could be worth it, it, you know, for a Class A building. It's one of the perks you get 
for uh, paying a bit more to be in a Class A uh, building. So, you know, I think the most important thing for any tenant is to feel secure, not to worry, not to face any anxiety. So, you know, this, this is a topic which shouldn't be overlooked. It's really as important as your, your budget, square footage, architectural layout, security deposit, annual escalation, and it's, it's, it's often the uh, last topic which is uh, inquired about. So I hope you give this some thought. Um, and in any case, until the next time, this is Alan Rosinski of Metro Manhattan Office Space. Please feel free to uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube uh, channel. Take care now.